Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. Today we're starting off by talking about wheat and some questions from producers about the yellowing they've seen in their fields. We've been getting a lot of calls over the past couple of weeks with producers concerned about their wheat fields. They're looking kind of yellow in some cases or they kind of have a brown uh, appearance. And by and large, this is mainly due to freeze injury. Now, it, it seems kind of weird to talk about freeze injury in a winter that has been so warm uh, that it's kind of worked against us in the, in the avenue of freeze injury because the wheat really hasn't hardened off. We've dropped down into the 20s a few nights and this has caused some freeze injury on the wheat. What you can look for in your wheat field is if the older leaves are dying or if you have some uh, wheat plants that the top one-third or one-half of the wheat leaf has turned brown, that is generally freeze injury and the wheat will grow right out of it. If you look at the new growth in the plants, generally it's a dark green and healthy, so it's a very temporary injury on the plant. The other things that could be causing some of the yellowing that we're seeing but are less likely would be nitrogen deficiency. In this case, you're going to see yellowing in the older leaves and the new leaf will be green, but it's more of a yellowing effect than the browning you're going to see that's associated with freeze injury. We're getting into the time of year, if you're in north central Oklahoma and you're growing a susceptible variety, you could be seeing some wheat spindle streak or soilborne mosaic out there as well. The best way to find out if you have that problem is to talk with your county agent send in a plant sample to the plant diagnostic lab and have them check it out and make sure that that's what's going on in the field. 